Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. Uh, of course, I'm William Williamson. I'm glad you're here with us. Uh, today, I have my lovely associate. His name's Andrew. He's a good friend of mine. Go ahead and give a little wave. Yeah. Uh, and today, we're going to be talking about his, uh, his little art exhibit he has going on. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a, the show is called I Make Pots. All right, yeah. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and launch in a couple questions here for him. Uh, Andrew, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about your show today? Uh, it's my BFA show, uh, Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. I have to have this to get that degree. Uh, I'm going for 3D Studio with a main in ceramics, as you couldn't tell. Um, so just seeing uh, how people like my stuff, pretty much. Is there, is there a theme to your show today? Um, well, I'm mainly a functional potter. I make stuff you can actually use at home. So, you know, I got like coffee cups and pitchers and bowls and the occasional vase, some teapots. And it's, fun it's functional where it's none of that, it's no sculptural or any really deep meaning piece. It's just... So there's some aesthetics, but it's not the main focus. Yeah, it's, it's mainly just for functional, but I'm mean, trying to make it look good. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good. You, uh, I mean, you, you yourself, is your, uh, your... Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I use uh, I use a lot of my mugs, uh, a lot of my bowls I have in my actual kitchen. Uh, mugs I have in my actual kitchen. Uh, sometimes I use teapots here to make some tea in the morning. Well, yeah, I I mean I use mine like all the time. I mean I don't plan on ever like having to buy dishes ever again. <laughs> have you had an expo like this before? Nope. First one. First one, I've had stuff in the Tarble for like the student show before, but never one of like my own, or just my stuff. So we'll see how the turnout is. Are you one of the first from your classes to have like such an, such an exhibit like this? Yeah, I think so. Um, in my ceramics class, yeah, I think I'm the first one to okay. have one, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I know when I go around camp, I don't really see too many uh, signs for hot exhibits, so. No, not, uh, not usually, not usually. Yeah, you're a trailblazer, my friend. Starting a trend. <laughs> Start a trend. What you gotta do. <laughs> do you like to put a lot of variation in YouTube, uh, your art? Oh, yeah, there's endless possibilities. Like, I mean, I've, I'm really big into making teapots now, and there's endless ways to make a teapot. I mean, there's like a Japanese style, there's Chinese style, Korean, there's English, uh, there's there's just so many different styles and, and so many different glazes that you can use that it's never ending, really. I mean, I'll never stop learning different things. Well, I mean, out of those styles, do you have a favorite? Uh, I'm getting really big into like Japanese style because they really push ceramics a lot farther. Um, but I mean, some some English, like yeah, some European styles I like. A lot of their glaze styles, stuff like that. I like to do a combination of two variations mainly with my work. When you say a glaze, what do you mean by that? Not. <laughs> um, it's different like materials that uh, you mix up, and it like changes in the firing process. Because you get, you get it up to a, a really hot temperature, it'll actually liquefy and turn into glass. So it'll seal it, and then it'll make, you know, like a nice, nice glaze on it. It'll, it'll give it a sheen. It can be matte or gloss. Similar to donuts. <laughs> it's very similar to donuts, except you can't eat it. It's good, it's good. What, why, why did you pick the pots you picked today to be your exhibit? Um, just because it kind of shows the different kind of styles I do, I think. Some of them. Uh, I didn't think about the different techniques I used on some of them, which I thought of when I was putting them out here, but not really anybody else will know that, except for maybe like a few people. But I just got to try to show, you know, like kind of everything that I have and can do. I'm trying to do, I guess. Well, uh, it's kind of a classical style vase. Uh, it's got a blue slate glaze. The drip pattern is inspired by uh, Lisa Heyman. She's a potter in Europe. Um, it's porcelain. 
Um, I was just trying to make like you know a classical style of vase looking vase, but yet with you know some other untraditional styles of like glazing and the use of colors and contrast between the uh, porcelain body and the glaze color. This is more like a bottle type form I made. Uh, it's using a coil uh, throwing style. Um, it's thrown to here out of, into a cylinder and I rolled a coil and added it and then probably threw it to here and then probably added another coil and threw it up again. So it's probably in about three or four different sections. Um, and again is another kind of Lisa Heyman style drip glazing kind of style. Um, a lot of uh, Korean potters do the uh, coil adding and throwing, re-throwing. Uh, this is one of the teapots I made. Um, it's got a hollow thrown handle so you don't have to put a hole in the lid uh, to pour. Uh, it's made from a Trex lathe lid, so it's not actually ceramics, it's Trex decking material. Uh, I use that for the lid. Um, I was kind of trying to go for, you know, kind of like a more oriental style, but yet still a little bit of a European color glaze, a little more earthy colors, uh, some darkers. Um.